you'd all left. Forgot something. Look, uh, while we've got a moment on our own, can we talk? It's not worth it. I'm going. Come on, Andy. What? Look, yesterday, we both said too much. One of us did. Listen, whatever the rights and wrongs, it's done. It's finished. There's no need for your brother to know the truth. Ever. OK? I don't suppose it'd make things any better. That's the spirit. I've got to go. See ya. Oh, hiya, love. Bad time. Is there ever a good one? Come in. I want a cuppa. Thanks. Just thought I'd see how you were doing after yesterday. Oh, yeah, right. It seemed to me you had something you wanted to offload. Something serious. Yeah, well, you know what I'm like. Yeah, I do. So... Well, just got on top of me, that's all. The usual money worries. Nothing new, is it? I've been having a little think about that. Supposing I'll lend you... Uh, 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 it's very kind of you, Diane, but no. Just a loan? Tied you over? I can't keep borrowing money from you. It's what friends are for. Yeah, well, it's not that long ago that you and I were a bit more than friends, weren't we? I uh, don't want to take advantage of that. You wouldn't be. We're friends now, OK? No hard feelings. Of course not. Thanks. Well, I'm here at the British Bridal Exhibition in Harrogate, and this has to be the See ya. best day in any Thought you weren't working so late, sir. And? Had a Where are you going? Now, Wendy Adams, Hey, you're going to meet with him, aren't you? Your secret assignation. Bye. I notice you're not. Denying it. Morning. Oh, good morning, Carol. Speak of the devil when she appears. Been talking about me behind my back, have you, Viv? How unlike you. I can say it to your face if you like. All right, leave it, both of you. OK. What do you want? Firstly, I'd like my copy of Destination Dale's magazine. Save my adverts in for the grand opening of my B&B. &B. Tough, because it hasn't come in. Sorry. Two pairs twenty, please. Donna. Thanks, babes. Nice to know there's someone acting their age around here. Anything else? Uh, yes, there is. You could, um... You could put this up in the shop window for me. You can't be joking! Well, what's the problem? Everyone else advertises in here. Everyone else isn't you, Carol. I think if you take Donna's point of view... Donna can she... speak for herself, thanks. And actually, I'm with Mum. Why should we help you? Right. Well, if that's your attitude, I'll be on my way. I'm sure I'll be able to dish out a few of these tomorrow evening at the Tate household. Oh, come on. You've never been invited to that. Of course. I'm going with Terry. Oh, um, how's Bob? Seems to have been away from an awfully long time. Not that long. A couple of days. Scarborough. Really? Oh. oh, well, just as you say. I wonder what he gets up to, though. I mean, there can't be that much to do in Scarborough, can there? Nice place for a dirty weekend, though. See you. Well, where is she? I don't know. I take it you do know that she's not due at work until later? She might have said something. But she didn't mention where she was going this morning? No. Or who she might be meeting? Of course not. Meaning what exactly? Nothing. Then why of course not? Was I implying that there's someone that she shouldn't be meeting? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on. I haven't got time for this. Just tell me where she is. I have no idea. She didn't say where she was going. I own the place where you live. And I own the place where you work. Do you see where I'm going with this? Chris, if I knew where she was, I'd say so. Just tell her. Tell her I was here. I was down just passing, I thought... Oh. Hello. Hi, Cathy. Didn't expect to see you here. Just thought I'd come and see how Jack's doing. Yeah, me too. Do you want a cuppa? Yeah, thanks.
so how are you? How's Alan? All right. I haven't seen you at the Woolly for a while. No. Uh, do you want another one, Diane? Oh, no, thanks, love. Better go. Get ready for opening. Oh, right. No, you're all right. I know the way. Bye now. Bye, Cathy. Bye. OK, tell me to mind my own business if you like, but why was Diane here? Uh, well, what she said. Is there a problem? No. But you do know what the village gossip was about you two. <sighs> yeah, I heard. And? Well, it's all in the past. <laughs> really? Really. Bye. <laughs> Don't know why you're rushing. You missed the bus a quarter of an hour ago. What? You could have warned me. Well, don't blame me, young lady. You keep your own time. Ta-da! A wanderer, a return. Finally. Where have you been? Working. Where do you think I've been? You were due back yesterday. Yeah, got held up. Bob, you couldn't give us a lift to school, could you? Only a certain person's made me late. Oi! Of course, my sweets. Give me a chance to dump all this and I'll be right with you. Don't be mad with me, Petal. Especially when I've been jumping through all sorts of hoops to organise your birthday prezzy. That's one of the things that delayed me. Really? Yeah, of course. <laughs> look at her, Donna. Can you believe this woman's just about to be 39? She doesn't look a day over 30, does she? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? 39? You must have got the wrong end of the stick. <sighs> Thanks very much. Thanks. So what's all this, then? Wine for tomorrow's little soiree. Well, shouldn't Charity be dealing with it? Sure she would. Were she here? Something you wanted? Yeah, I left a file behind. So where is she? Charity? I wish I knew. Got a good price for this, though. Sorry? The wine, she got a good price for it. Exceptional price when you think about it. Now, how do you suppose she managed that? Charm, I expect. Hell of a lot of charm. Guess who's going to be a local media star? Courier were interested, were they? As were Radio Hotton. They reckon we'll get a lot out of the running vicar angle. Not expecting you to do the whole fun run in your dog collar, I hope. <laughs> I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Anyway, I'd better get onto the baby care unit, sort out the promotional material. Well, don't let me stop you. I'll be off in a minute myself. Right you are, darling. See you later. Look, um, it is OK, isn't it? Being back at work, I mean. Of course it is. What's brought that on? I don't know. I just thought I'd ask. It suddenly occurred to me I hadn't asked. It's fine, honestly. Right, then. Uh, I'll see you later. Don't let her get to Are you. Are you saying I'm overreacting? Is that it? No, no, of Well, course. coming in here with her specially printed posters and her magazine adverts. Oh, yes, and she's got a, an invitation to the Tate's do. Well, how do you think that makes me feel? Jealous. At least that might be how it seems to a, a, a non-partisan observer. Well, can you blame me? Carol's going up in the world and I'm stuck here, sorting out which pot mills are passed their due by date. Yeah, but what are you going to do? I mean, maybe it's your lot in life. It's not a lot, but it's your life, as the saying goes. Well, I'm glad one of us thinks it's funny. I'm only trying to cheer you up, love. Well, the only thing that would cheer me up is making a few changes in this place, giving it a new direction. Well, like what exactly? Well, actually, I've been jotting down a few ideas for improvements. Make it a little bit more upmarket instead of a tatty village shop. Here. Now, I'm sure if we could extend over there... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah. It's all very nice, my love, but have you actually considered how much it's going to cost? Unlike some, you don't have a whacking great divorce settlement, a starter capital. Well, you'd have to put some money in as well. We are supposed to be a team, you know. Yeah, but... And while I'm at it, it's about time you and I had a joint account. It seems ridiculous that we've still got separate ones. Ah, joint account. Now, that might take a bit of time. You see, I do have a number of issues regarding tax and my trading account to sort out first. It's just all a bit complex. Uh, Marlon! <laughs> what can we do for you this fine morning? Oh, just have this, thanks. Yes, yeah, house things. All oh, right, you know. Yeah, busy at Le Restaurant? Well, well, yeah, um, taking up a lot of time doing uh, extra catering for Chris Tate, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, the big bash, yeah. Sounds like it's going to be pretty swish. Well, you know, Chris, uh, likes to do everything in style, no expense spared. Yeah, <laughs> I'll bet, yeah. So, what are you doing for that, then? 
Well, if, if you're interested. Come in, Rodney. I'm sure Chris won't keep you long. Will you take a seat? Rodney. Morning. Well, I'm away to the stables. Can you remind him to look at this? Were oh, you off? And there was me thinking I could leave you two to uh, keep each other company. Hmm. One of these days, young lady. Oh, I look forward to that. I'll be getting on. Charity, nice of you to turn up. Rodney's here. So Chris, I gathered, Rodney. The Hampton Mayor. He wanted to be kept informed. Right. Well, don't let us keep you. Pleasure. Bye, Rodney. Bye. You two seemed remarkably polite just then. Mm -hmm. You and Andrew. Not exactly the best of friends, are you? I, uh, just don't trust him, that's all. Trust. That's a luxury I've learned to live without completely. So, what can I do for you? I thought I'd deliver this in person. Invoice for services rendered. Thanks. Oh, and speaking of trust, what did Charity do to get such a good price? For the wine, I mean. A joke, Rodney. For a moment, I wondered what you were accusing me of. <laughs> Alan and Diane would both like the lamb. Thanks, Chloe. Just wondered if we've got enough pastry mix for tomorrow. I think I saw some ready-made in the freezer. Mm, I'd rather do it fresh. Alan's out there. Coming for lunch. Just keep an eye on that panel, what a quick word. <laughs> so where did you go to this morning? You must have been up with the lark. Oh, yeah. Hello, love. <coughs> Alan, I was just wondering if you'd heard anything from Tricia. Oh, sorry, my love, nothing at all. I take it you help. Nothing. It's ridiculous. It's been weeks now. Yeah, I know it's frustrating, but there's really not much else you can do. I don't know. I don't, but maybe I could go down there, look for a... London's a big place, Pat. Where would you start? What, did you, do you know someone there? So I might have contacted Tricia. Not really. Well, the restaurant's not going to run itself. Yeah, I know, but... You're right, you're right. I'm not being practical. No. I suppose we could go. Sorry? We? Well, if we've got nothing special on, I mean, what, what do you think? Could be an adventure. It's not you as well. I'm just asking. I care about you. I'm fine. Miles better work in the moping about at home. Afternoon, Bernice. Um, just an orange juice, please. Right, you are. Thanks. Hi, right, Kathy. Hey. Not seen you for a while. Oh, being busy. You know how it is. Yeah. I do indeed. Okay. I'll get this one. Please. No, it's okay. I'll get this. So, mm. Cheers. You're hopeless. You are. Well, what can I do? She's a blonde. Honestly, mate, I don't know how much more of this feud I can stand. It's like an obsession with Viv. Yeah, well, it's hardly bottomed the agenda with Carol. We have got to do something. Yeah. But what? Well, there must be something that will bring them back together. Isn't it Viv's birthday soon? Yeah, yeah, 39th. Why? Well, I, I was just thinking, you know, it's the B&B's uh, grand inauguration coming up. I had heard. Hmm. Well, I thought maybe we could combine the two celebrations. Do you reckon we get either of them to agree to it? It's worth a try. I mean, right now, anything's worth a try. Sorry we were so long. Oh, don't worry, hasn't been that busy. Nice meal. Yes, yeah, delicious, thanks. You can nip off on for a bit if you like. I'll take over here. Thanks. Oh, I will, oh, thanks. I'll go and book the hotel. No, Alan, I have no credit with Bernice yet. Alan! Planning a trip. London, apparently, next week. I mean, all next week. He wants to go and search for Tricia. Well, it might be worth it. But what about you? Oh, I'll manage here. Anyway, it's better to keep myself busy. But nonsense. Needs... You're going to London, OK? You're the boss. Anyway, with the way you've been, I'd be mean to keep you here. What do you mean? Well, I noticed it this morning. Little twinkle in your eye. Things are obviously going really well for you two. So we all set for tomorrow? As far as I can tell. I think it's going to be a big success, don't you? It better be. Checking up on things would have been a lot easier if I'd been able to get hold of charity today. Oh, come on. She's here now. For the time being, who knows when she'll swan off again. Or more to the point, who with? Meaning? 
I think you know what I mean. You think she's... I know she is. Oh, OK. So, um, let me get this straight. You haven't been able to get hold of Charity exactly when you've wanted, so therefore, she must be having an affair. Simplistic, but accurate. All right. Any idea who with? Sorry to interrupt. Please need to sign in in time for the post. I'll just leave them on the side. I'll, I'll see to them as soon as I've finished eating. But we'll miss the post. I asked you to leave them, Andrew. Right. Let's just say there are one or two suspects. Andrew is just one of them. There's also Rodney. Medallion men do appeal to some women. Then there's Terry. He's a mate. Good for a laugh. Or how about Cuddly Marlon? I mean, after all, Trish is gone. He and Charity understand each other. Same family background. And if we're on the subject of family, what about the forlorn family man himself? Poor old Sean. You know the old story. He needs a shoulder to cry on. She's there. One thing leads to another. Blah, blah, blah. Or if she fancies playing it really dangerously. And let's face it, Charity does. There's always her roommate's boyfriend. I mean, Scott's not exactly a Puritan either, is he? So, as you can see, there's plenty to choose from. Hello, Bernice. Oh, no. Hello? Oh, you are here. I wasn't sure if... Denise? I'm all right. No, you're not. You've been crying. Yeah, well, I've stopped now. I can see that. However, my main Let's concern... not talk about it, eh, Ash? Of course. That's what you want. I do. You're going back to work? Well, I'm not going to sit here moping while you're at church, am I? You don't have to, you know. Life doesn't stop, does it? Denise, do you think I've been neglecting you? No. Because you could always come with me, to church, I mean. You know, there's a lot to be said for the comfort... Will you please stop trying to force your... your way of coping on me? I'm sorry? If I'm run some prayers and the rest may be helping you through this, but they won't work for me. I've had a miscarriage. Let me deal with it in my own way. Bernice, I don't see that I've done anything wrong. I just wish you'd stop talking to me like I was... I just wish you'd take your dog collar off sometimes. I'd better get along to... I'll be late. <laughs> well? What do you think? I told you I knew your side. Do you know what? I reckon I'm going to wow Martimella, don't you? The idea, it's important. Well, don't you worry about it. I've got it sorted. You're going to be really proud of me, Chris. Am I indeed? You are. Nothing. Tell me about your day. Well, you know about my day. I've been here working. What about this morning? What about it? It's just I called round and Chloe didn't seem to have any idea where you were. Well, I just popped out for a bit, that's all. I didn't go anywhere special. Right. Right. Tell you what, though. You still haven't thanked me properly for the dress. Remiss of me. Hmm. Somebody would be making a big mistake if they thought they could make a fool out of me. You're hurting me. Am I making myself absolutely clear? Chris! Chris! Just what is it you're accusing me of, eh? Cos whatever it is, I haven't done it. OK. I'll see you tomorrow. Nice dress. Everything all right? All under control. Thank you. There you go. Thanks, Teddy. Oh, look, you're not going to give a silent treatment all evening, are you? I'm going to that do tomorrow, Terry. I don't care what you say. It's a works thing. Yeah, and I'm your other half. And I'll be working. So will I, handing out some of the flyers. Oh, Carol. Look, if I don't go, I'm going to look a right fool in front of Viv. I've already told her I'm going. Well, if you made up with her, you wouldn't have that problem. I've told you, she's got to make the first move. 
Hang on. I thought I'd lost this. I'm going to make a phone call later. Look, it's Viv's birthday soon, and if you're not careful, another year will go past. It'll be Viv's 40th, and that'll be another big party that you've not been invited to. 40? Yeah, I, I know. Don't say anything, mate. Right? My lips are sealed. What did you tell him? Nothing. Well, he must have said something, because he don't kick off like that for no reason. I don't see why you're blaming me. Do you see this? Being with him this afternoon, Chloe, was not a very pleasant experience. Look, he came round here wanting to know where you were and I told him the truth that I didn't know, OK? And that's it? Yeah. And by the way, being interrogated twice in one day isn't exactly pleasant for me, either. All right, I'm sorry. I suppose I should have seen it coming. <coughs> Hello? Oh, hi, hang on. Chloe, do us a favour, love. Will you see if I've left my bedroom light on? Yeah, hi. Yeah, you were right. Suspicious, he knows. Yeah, we're just gonna have to be a bit more careful from now on. Yeah, we'll manage. Makes it all the more exciting, doesn't it? See you tomorrow night. Hmm. <laughs>